everybody, Yodi here, and today we are at a place that I've been wanting to get to for over two years, um, and I'm going to take you along with me. I'm really excited to be here. I'm in southern Illinois, and we're going to a spot that um, is a very special place between two um, different types of terrain. And because it's between these two different types of terrain, it causes a particular kind of migration of snakes. We are at Snake Road in southern Illinois, and I've wanted to be here, like I said, for over two years. Um, we're going to be doing a little bit of, of off-trail work today in the fact that we're not going to be on a trail, we're going to be on a road. Um, so what happens here is that the, you can see the swamps and the wetlands behind me that goes, stretches all back through here. And then I'm going to turn this around real quick. And then behind me, you can see these big stone bluffs, right? And these go all along this road. And the road goes between these two terrains. And what ends up happening is that the reptiles move from one to the other every spring and fall as part of a migration. As they get ready for winter, they head up into these, rock, these rocky bluffs in order to get through the winter time. And then during the spring, they come back down into the, the wetlands. So we're gonna go hit the road. Supposedly on this road, you can see over 50 different types of snakes, um, including venomous snakes like uh, cotton mouths, uh, timber rattlers, copperheads, as well as a whole slew of non-venomous snakes. You can also see toads, frogs, and turtles. So I'm, I'm kitty. I've been waiting to do this for a week or so. I've been counting my sleeps like a kid at Christmas, and it is no sleep. It is time to get on Snake Road. So here we go. Just got our first snake on the road. You can see the road's right here, right here. Zoom in on him. There he is. So what do you think he is, Bob? I think it's a Florida green water snake. A Florida uh, green? Mississippi green. I guess it'd be called a Mississippi green. Cool. Very cool. Well, just in case we don't see any other snakes, we'll record this one and document it thoroughly. Not sure if you guys can see this. There he is. There's part of him anyway. It's a cotton mouth. There he is. He's on the move. Beautiful. That's awesome. That's my first cotton mouth. There he goes. Give him some room, let him finish his day. Uh, real quick, let me kind of show you the different terrain here. Um, and then I'll stop, I promise. You'll, I'm sure you guys will have it after this one. <laughs> All right, so you've got this swampy area here and you have the road. And then through here, you can see these rock bluffs that go all the way up super high, probably 30, 40 feet high. And you have this swampy area that kind of comes up right against them. And then they just put this road in here. The road's just high enough so it doesn't flood too badly. So that's two snakes so far. And that's really only been the first 15 minutes, so and we're out here all day. All right, let's see what else we can find. After you see a couple snakes like this on the road, so close to the walkway where you're walking, you start to get a little jumpy. You just start really, your eyes start darting and you start, something kicks in, in the monkey part of your brain. And uh, 
your eyes really start to be focused on that serpentine form. Um, it makes for an interesting walk, that's for sure. So this road is kind of a holy grail for snake fans, for herpetologists. Um, people come from all over the world, all over the country, to come to this little two and a half mile stretch of road during migration season because it's such an opportunity to see such a wide variety of snakes. Um, and you can get pretty close to them too. They don't seem to care. Uh, we were probably only four feet away from that cottonmouth, for instance. Um, I've, I've heard of people coming from Ottawa, from Maine, uh, from Europe. They come here, they spend a week to just walk this road during migration season. So it's a real, it's a real joy. I've been, like I said, I've been waiting to get here for a long time. I just ran into a fellow YouTuber. His name's Sean. Uh, he's hiking with Sean. I'll check him out when I get back home. And uh, yeah, who knows who we're going to run into out here or what kind of snake we're going to run into. So far, so good. Oh yeah, you can see it now. You zoom in. The cottonmouth? Mm -hmm. oh, that's a good shot. I need a closer. It might just open its mouth on you. Well, that'd be kind of fun. Yeah. I would come from this way. Yeah. That way. It won't bolt. It might just rear back. Oh, that is gorgeous. Let me get some markings. Everybody always talks about cottonmouths, how aggressive they are. And it couldn't care less about us right now. Yeah, it really Certainly couldn't. Not aggressive. He's like, man, I'm just trying to get across the road. I wouldn't pick it up. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, come on. <laughs> Oh, there he goes. Oh, another one up there. All right, see you, buddy. Is it a stick? False alarm. False alarm, okay. Well, you think he'll move if I go around him? Snake. All right, bye, bud. We're going this way. Okay. <laughs> What kind is it? No. Yeah, that one's smaller. Uh -huh. You see the pattern? It's much more, much more distinct. Mm -hmm. Very cool. The colors on that guy. All right. Mud, Brad. So I lied. We are going to go off trail a little bit. This little overhang right here. Up right up against the bluffs. Keep my eyes open because I do not want to get bit. I'm including a bob for scale.
it can be on these ledges as well. As you can see, there's these ledges. They can be perched on those ledges. So it's uh, all eyes everywhere. Oof. No. We are being summoned. I'll just let this run. Well, you have to watch your step on this. Wait a minute. Move. All right, what, you, what now? This is a prime example why you should watch your step. They just pop mouth right there. Oh, geez, yeah. Decent camouflage, but if you're walking quickly, it's not trouble. Well, that'd put a hurt on you. Certainly in the afternoon. Yeah. For the viewers at home, I'll zoom in. There he is. Just hanging out. Yep. Okay, so another cotton mouth. That's what, four? All right. Let's put him off the trail here. We're gonna ease him off. Is there a way to get down up here? You think? I think there Do is. Somewhere down somewhere that way. Here. I'm counting on it. <laughs> While well, cotton mouse are not necessarily quick to strike, uh -huh. they're also not quick to leave. Yeah. That's probably okay, but whoa, whoa. There might be an indication that there are others around here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I was just thinking the same thing. Uh, he's gonna, he's wanting to go back towards the bluff. We can always just go back, I guess. Oh, there he goes. I don't want to go sliding down into him. Nor do I. Like that going. Just <laughs> great. So we're coming down from the bluff on a less than awesome trail. Dangerous footing, venomous snakes. Adventure! Brave Bob is leading the way. Get around deadfalls like this too. Fun stuff, fun stuff. All right. on the road. So the YouTuber I ran into said there was an armadillo up here. An armadillo in Illinois. But we found it, so here we go. I'll turn this camera around. I don't want to get too close. There he is. He's trying to hide. There he is. <laughs> Never seen one before. There's a shot. How incredible of an animal is that? Well, on the mad dash to see Mr. Armadillo, I had my hat strapped to my tripod here, my pole, and it, it somehow bounced off as I was jogging. So, luckily, 
I realized only about a quarter of a mile away that I didn't have my hat. So I'm gonna go catch up with the guys here and try not to trip over a snake. Can't lose my hat. Oh, no. Right here. Its tail goes out that way. Oh shit. It's a timber rattlesnake. Yeah. Just, just uh, here. everybody nice and easy so we all see it right yeah, there. He's pointed this direction. So I'm gonna try and zoom in. Good eyes, Bob. There's his rattle. You need to come up. There's his. It's right through there. It's right in there. Get closer. Oh, I see the tail. Where's the head? Its head is under. Where'd he go? There he is. How did you see that? How did you see that? Just pattern, looking. I was, I'm was not kidding, I was about to tell you, Brian, I started to say that experts have told us this is an area of... Yeah, this is my first rattlesnake. I don't see, I'd like to see his head, but... Let's keep your eyes open, Brian. Now, this is not a brand, this is last year's baby. I think it's got to be a year old. He's under the log there. All right, I'll wait for you to get down and then I'll go in. Don't you hate that? Oh, there he goes. He's moving. Oh, wow. That's phenomenal. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Oh. Is he going underneath all the way? Yeah. Up? Yeah, he's, he's underneath now. Watch it. You're... He's headed towards you, Bob. Yeah, no. That was that's my first rattlesnake. Ah, uh, waited a long time for that. That was I can't believe you spotted it. That was you just happened to look to the lot to the left. And I Oh hey. <laughs> Camera's on. And I um, just thought it was an interesting spot, but it was most of the luck. Yeah. Great spot. Great spot possible that due to the length of this video I'll need to make it into two parts so if that's the case I'm going to end the video now and click like if you like what you saw if you didn't like it then you can give me a thumbs down but then if you like what you saw and you want to see more hit subscribe and get out of the woods it's good for you get some dirt time uh, and we'll have part two of snake road coming up very soon